What is up, y'all? Kincaid here with Root Outdoors. What a gorgeous day out it is here in Cleveland. As you guys can see, I'm on the side of the road here. Sorry if you guys can't hear me. I got a bunch of traffic flying by here. But uh, as you can see back here, my car, I don't know if you can see, I got all my fishing gear with me. I'm out here about to go steelhead fishing for the last time of the year, or I should say spring. Um, temperatures are starting to rise while we're getting into these summer months and it just becomes dangerous for these fish. Can't keep them out of the water that long. Don't want to be hooking into them that much because they just, they went through an exhausting time these past two months. Um, it was their spawning season and you know, they're making their way out of the, out of the lake, up the rivers into these tributaries and, uh, that's where they lay their eggs and they spawn out. So it's very tiring for these steelhead. But before I get going, on today's adventure i got a clip for you guys that i would like you to see it's uh it's my first time catching a steelhead captured on the gopro it's pretty cool i'm sorry that my arms got in the way a little bit but hey you know what it's my first time and i'm learning here so catch you guys after this video i think it's a fish fish on On the GoPro too, hell yeah. I wasn't even looking, I looked down, my barber was gone, so I just pulled up. Thought I was snagged on something, it was a fish. Come on. She's pretty. Woo! That's a fish. Oh. Come here. Woo! All right, guys. What do you think? Here she is. Woo! Nice fish. There you go. Go back home. Woo! First one on the books today. Let's catch another one. All right, guys, I hope you like that. I know I, I look pretty novice. Sorry for any of you guys out there if you're hating on me for holding the fish too tight, keeping them out of the water too long, not releasing them quick enough. You know what I have to say to that? I say I'm a beginner and I'm learning. About to be walking up on our hole here. Just talked to another angler. Said he uh, just had one on. He's been seeing a bunch of the steelhead jump today, so they're a little frisky. Got some fight to them, so let's hopefully we can uh, we can land some for us today. I told my girlfriend before he left that I would like to have steelhead for dinner tonight if I can catch a pretty nice, nice one that looks fresh enough. So hopefully that happens. Go home, cook up some uh, steelhead fish tacos. So good. I just go to Walmart and get that Southwest Chipotle uh, salad mix comes with all the fixings all the dressings pick up some tortillas mm, 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 mm. is it good it is damn good recently just got into center pin fishing so uh it's a little difficult i gotta say the cast and there's no drag on it you you are the drag so you got to constantly keep this uh this wheel i'm not spinning on you or else your bird's nest is bad. Super bad. You got a little uh, white tube jig on there right now. Before I switch it off, I'll just give it a whirl. Why not? Let's get at it. The river's flowing pretty fast. I'm gonna cast out right there. We just use this white tube jig, see what's up. 
and we'll get at it. Oof. I have got to come down with the bobber. Wherever that went, right there. Well, I'll get it out there in the deeper water. Oof. <clears throat> nope. Just keep on getting caught on rocks out here. It's pretty freaking shallow. Dang, these bugs are bad out here. That's one fly right in my ear. Woof. And I'm hooked up. I need to change what I got going on here. Come on. Jeez, dude, these bugs are awful. Should have brought some bug spray. Holy cow. Whew. All right, guys, that's uh, that's a wrap for this video. And it was a epic fail. As you guys can see, it's the next day. I uh, wasn't able to catch a steelhead on my last day of steelhead fishing for the spring. And yeah, guys, it was awful. The bugs were terrible. I kept on getting bugs in my ears my nose i needed like one of those turkey face masks thing on so it would stop the bugs from hitting my face those were bad and also i fell in the river i'll play that clip for you guys right here ah All right guys, yeah, so you can see that was awful. I almost destroyed my phone, almost destroyed my other GoPro battery. So that was that was a bust. I felt my waders got underneath the water and started filling up with water. I didn't have my belt cinched down tight enough. So between the bugs, me getting snagged, and me falling in the river, it was not that good of a uh, last trip. But hey, you guys were able to see me catch my first steelhead captured by the GoPro, so that's pretty, pretty cool um if you guys enjoy this please subscribe and uh smash that thumbs up button and i'll catch you guys on the next one see ya